Welcome back to Pokemon Sun. Last time we completed the electric trial, thanks to Sophocles' help. And now, we're going to return to Molly Garden in order to give the professor his mask back. He very clearly is the masked royal. Very unfortunate that the cat had to be let out of the bag. I'm actually not going to use... I'm actually not going to use the Electric Z-move on the Sphero. Because I want to save it for... For a more fitting circumstance. Let's go for a bullet punch. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, drop something. Swift wing. We gotta go heal. Alright, and now... We can go ahead and go into Molly Garden now. Ho ho. How interesting. Yo, yo, yo! Hold up, yo, Mr. Kakui. You say you wanna make a Pokemon League? You got rocks in your skull. Four turns. Huh? Bring it on, the both of you. I've been researching Pokemon moves, yeah, so I'm always ready, oh yeah. I'll take you both on in a battle royale, and you'll be down with just a Swift and Incinerator, too. You gotta beat the man to be the man, boys. Yo, for real? F fine, you asked for it. Get him good, Professor. You numbskulls should learn your place. Battle Royal, huh? Nice idea there, Kikui. You can beat down three Pokemon at once, huh? It's Kuzma. The boss has graced us with his presence. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here! Greetings, cowering public! We have an exciting bout for you tonight. In the opposing corner, the Pokemon Professor Kakui. And in this corner, the boss of Team Skull and the hardest guy around, Guzma. Here we are, Kukui. Fellow rejects who never could become captains. We've got all these moldy old traditions in Alola. The kahunas, the captains. It's about time we cut out all that silly garbage and make something new for ourselves. Trust me, I get that. Don't get me wrong, though, Kukui. We've got no need for a Pokemon League. After all, everybody already knows the strongest trainer is on these islands. Speak for yourself, Guzma. It's not like I couldn't become a captain. I chose not to. I had other dreams, see? I wanted to figure out which moves would be strong enough to beat old Hala. And I finally found what I was looking for. The strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together. In the heat of the moment. When it really counts. That's when I knew I had to make a Pokemon League, yeah? To give everybody a chance to be pushed to the limit with their team and find that perfect move. Let's see it, Guzma. Show me your moves and prove you aren't all just talk. If you really can, that is. Right, Matthew? Don't you agree? That's right. So, you're one of those kids on his island challenge. You don't look like Hala's grandson. This here's Matthew. He just moved to Alola recently. Discovery, new experiences, adventure. He's loving every minute of it. Matthew and his clink can unleash some real powerful moves. So if you think you're the strongest trainer on these islands, Guzma, why don't you battle him? Why did you have to say clink? Why did you have to say clink? Now I look like someone puny. <laughs> This move fanatic is getting me all riled up! 
You've got a Z-Ring, huh, kid? Why even bother with the island challenge? What's the point of it? It'll make me strong. No, it won't, you dumb kid! Watch closely, Kakui. Someday I'm gonna destroy you. But first, I'll destroy everything you care about. Wanna see what destruction looks like? Here it is in human form! It's your boy, Guzma! Yet another amazing theme. Alright, he leads off with Glycopod. This is why I decided not to use Electrium Z on that hero earlier. Because Gigavolt Havoc time. Here we go. I'm faster. Alright, Clink. Show them what you're made of. And that's gonna activate your emergency exit, so you're out of here. And in comes your Ariados. Unfortunately for you, Ariados is slow. You're gonna go for a sucker punch. Gear grind might be a three hit KO if I get unlucky with damage ranges. Or if I miss my gear grind, okay then, um. Alright, fine, you wanna. You wanna go? You wanna go? Beak Blast. You've been burned, boy. And now down goes your Aritos. Glycopod is the evolution of Wimpod, and has the signature move, at least at this time, of First Impression. A high power bug type move that can only be used on the first time on the first turn Glycopod enters the field, but it is quite powerful. We're going for a razor shell. And down goes Glycopod. Stanley grew to level 38. Oh boy, I think I know what's happening. I think I know what's happening. Let's see, is it the right level? Yes it is! Stanley is finally evolving at long last. He's gonna be a little better now. And so now with all that extra willing power willpower, he evolves into Clang. Very nice. Kuzma! What is wrong with you? Now's the time for your vaunted team to let loose and destroy everything! It was Matthew, right? I'll remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down any time. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. Team Skull will have to go lick their wounds now, getting beat by a child just doing his trials. Ah, oh, Matthew, you are one righteous trainer. Whoa, Matthew, those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to give you something super important. Here you go, cousin. This is a Z crystal for Prim Marina. The evolution of the Poplio you chose. And, uh, about that mask you've got there, Matthew. Moline gave you that, yeah? I'll take it if you don't mind. I can make sure it gets back to the Master Royal safe and sound. Handed the mask to the professor. 
So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere, Matthew. I'm right here. And so is Acerola. And how is... Probably at a Malasada shop somewhere, yeah? When the professor fought those horrible Team Skull Thugs, Matthew. Just thinking about it makes me worry. You sound like a scary group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battle is the quickest way to get to know someone in my book. Well, I'm gonna head up Mount Monaquila. I gotta make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everybody has the chance to find their own perfect move. Keep training hard on your island challenge, Matthew, and one day you'll make it there. Matthew, be sure you're not pussing yourself too hard. Matthew, you made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? That's really great. You can take on the next trial up past Route 11, through Tapu Village, you know? If you get lost on your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? Now, Lily, you're coming with me to do some shopping. Alright, then. Alright, alright. Before we do... Before we do anything regarding Primarina's Z-Crystal, I have to look up and make sure that I won't get copyrighted. Alright, so I think I've got a solution. When I use the Z-Move, just to be safe, I am going to transition to a Bastiodon being in the way of the screen. Because I'm thinking that... And just to be absolutely sure, I'm not even going to use the Z-Move until next episode, because I want to make sure that by using it, <clears throat> I want to make sure that by going ahead and using it, I don't still get copyrighted, because this plan might end up failing, so yeah. Even though I don't right, I right now at least don't make monetary gain out of this, I'm at the very least going to ensure that my video doesn't get banned everywhere just for it featuring the funny Z-move. So, for now, this is just what you'll have to expect to see. Just a giant Bastiodon being in the center of the screen as Ashimari uses his Z-move. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the opacity... Or potentially, wait, hold on. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and pause again. Alright, and I think with this, the Bastiodon is going to be, like, slightly faded, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. That's what I'm going to have to do for the easy move for now. For now, though, just to be absolutely safe, I am not going to... I'm not going to use Primarium Z right now, just to be absolutely certain that I don't get cop- that I don't get my video completely banned in every country just for showing the funny Z move. And you know what, if that doesn't work, then I guess I'm just not allowed to use the Z move. front now. Stanley, you're gonna go ahead and get your Eviolite back. Yeah, and the unfortunate part is that this copyright thing was only ever put in effect because Pokemon was afraid of people re-uploading their trailers. And because each tra- and because- and because a lot of this, a lot of these Z-moves were shown in trailers, it automatically flags the... It automatically flags the content as... as copyrighted, which is just kind of unfortunate, to be honest. I'll go ahead and put Stanley in the front now. Just because I kind of want to showcase him 
his new evolved form. Pokemon are looking a bit tired. Thank you for the heals. Pokemon are healthy. I've evolved from a swimmer, so I'm a hiker who can who can swim. Just like me, some Pokemon get another type by evolving. It's a big mushroom. Oh my God. I, I, I keep looking up at my layout thing, and I keep getting and I keep getting jump scared by the Bastiodon being there. But anyway, yeah. Stanley is now a Clang, meaning he's gonna be more powerful. So at long last, we got ourselves a little bit of a power boost. Larry grew to level 36. Let's go ahead and battle you two. Athletic siblings, Alyssa and Sho. Pertier and Fletchinder. on Fletchinder. And then... Continental Crush into Herdier. Now, who am I gonna Volt Switch into? I don't know. Ernie grew to level 36. I'll go into Lariat. Yeah, thankfully, the... I think just the normal Z-moves were not shown as much in trailers, if not mu if not like really at all. So they're pretty safe to use without getting copyrighted. Everyone's a little, everyone's a little sandy. I'll brush you off. You're a little sandy. Alright, you can go ahead and have this blue Pokepuff. It's been a while since you had some Pokepuffs, so I'll go ahead and give you some. rate movement on the bottom screen is just kind of funny as I'm looking at it on the layout. Of course, I'm on an actual 3DS, so you don't see the low frame rate-ness. But I do. Well, you see the low frame rate-ness. So... Yeah. I don't see it on the actual 3DS, but... On the layout, yeah, it is definitely low frame rate gaming. Alright. Let's see here. I 
I can go ahead and give Jawbreaker 2 a sweetheart. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and have Larry out in the front with Claire, I guess, in the back. TM-74 Gyro Ball. Got a tiny mushroom. It's odd how many mushrooms they have on the ground as Pokeballs, and yet they didn't... And yet they didn't take the opportunity to make Amoongus appear in these games. Not natively, anyway. It is kind of awkward that they didn't decide to do that. Oh. It's a star piece. Me and Stuffle aren't messing around. Preschooler Hayden. Ah, uh, yes, let's shoulder bash a foot into this stuffle. Why, but it's so fluffy. <clears throat> Not fluffy enough. You see those leaves around here? Heard that in the Kalos region there are Pokemon with those leaves in their mouths. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, because Pancham and Pangoro... Are constantly chewing on. Faith moves mountains. Black belt Clayton. And he is sending out Ariyama. Alright, Lariat. Vital throw. That did a lot of damage. Wow. Just in case, for whatever reason, you have bullet punch, I'm not gonna stay in. I'm gonna go out to Ashimari and do a little bit of funny shenanigans with disarming voice. Hyper voice. You know, that would actually be quite good if I had liquid voice, but unfortunately I don't. Liquid voice is Ashimari's hidden ability. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and get rid of Encore for hyper voice. Encore really isn't gonna get that much use. Jawbreaker 2 grew to level 38. My hopes were crushed. I gotta brush these clumps out of your here. Pangoro is awesome. He's just like that he's just like that cool dad that's always there. Let's go ahead and pet you a bunch. As the starter, you should probably have the most affection. 
out of anyone on this team. Go ahead and have a red Pokepuff. There we go. You're up to four hearts of affection now. You can officially do the anime hung on by a thread moment now. We haven't seen what that means, but we might eventually see what that means. Alright, for now, I'll be seeing you guys next time. See you then.